What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Zacian and Suicune team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zacian, this Pokemon is a top tier physical attacker being able to do a ridiculous amount of damage. It's got Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as its item and ability. It's rocking that Stellar Terror type, which is a perfect Terror type for Zacian. Then it's got Iron Head, Play Rough, Close Combat, and Protect. And let's not forget, Behemoth Blade is Iron Head just when Zacian's in his crown form. So that's why you guys do not see Behemoth Blade on this Zacian right now. But um, we got also have Suicune on this team, like I already mentioned. This Suicune is kind of a little weird, right? It's got Inner Focus with the Rocky Helmet, and it's rocking Calm Mind, Mist, Scald, and Snarl. Now, Mist is a weird move that you probably have never seen on the rank ladder, but it's actually a really strong move. It protects you and your ally Pokemon for five turns of any stat drop. So Intimidates won't work while Mist is up. Uh, eerie Impulses won't work while that. All that good stuff. So I like Mist. If we could set it up, We'll set it up, but I'm not going to guarantee you guys us using Mist today. But again, really cool move. Our final four Pokemon on today's squad features Shen Pao, Landers, Incineroar, and Whimsicott. Shen Pao going to be there for a big time physical attacker. Landers is there with the Choice Scarf being a great special attacker. And then Incineroar, Whimsicott, more of support Pokemon for Intimidates, Tailwinds, all that good stuff. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Zacian and Suicune team. Hopping into our first match, and we are going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, Shadow Rider Calyrex, obviously top tier when it comes to Regulation G, but I have a feeling we're going to tee off on it today. Grab ourselves a win here in match number one. They also have Ursa Luna. They got Rollaboom, Urshifu, Tornadus, and Furigraph. So they could pop Trick Room if they want to. They don't have to, but they could do that. But um, something that I could do is lead like Shen Pao, who's going to be pretty good up against Calyrex. I could lead Zacian with the Stellar Terror type. Um, I could lead Wimscott, just get some speed control here. I mean, also have Encore on this thing, which isn't bad. And if they just want to go into like a Trick Room or something, we can kind of just play it that way. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to go Wimscott here for turn one. I'm also going to lead Zacian. Do I lead Zacian? Or do I bring it in like the back end? I think I'm just going to uh, lead it. I think I'm going to lead it with Shen Pao and Incineroar. I definitely like that. Because I really don't want Suicune here, especially with Rollaboom on the field. I just don't think we need it. I mean, Snarl would be nice, but I think we're fine here. I do think we're fine, especially with Incineroar and uh, Shen Pao. I do have to watch out for Ursaluna. Ursaluna is a scary little customer, considering it's super effective onto pretty much all my Pokemon. But if I can just, like, get Speed Control... We probably should be fine here. And I'm going to hope that they don't even bring Ursuline out for a grab. Let's see who you're going to lead. Probably both of them, right? That'd be hilarious. Nope, for a grab and... And what's it called? For a and Calyrex. So from here, I mean, it's not a bad turn for us to just double down into for a with a Tailwind. Not going to sit here and lie with a Stellar Terror type. This might be in our best interest. Just go Tailwind, have that speed, Stellar Terror, and go into a Behemoth Blade and look to just dump into this. I mean, I don't have to Terrastalize. I could just honestly attack. I don't even have to pop a Tailwind this turn. We could save Tailwind for next turn, just in case we don't pull it off. I'd rather get this extra damage off of Frigraph. So you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Stellar Terror. We're just going to double down at Frigraph. Look to just get rid of it. Because again, we cannot allow them to set up Trick Room. We cannot allow them to set up Trick Room. And what I think is going to happen here is I think we can soak this... Uh, this Asher Barrage and just get off Tailwind next turn. So that's where I'm kind of sitting with this squad. And who knows? They might even protect Shadow Rider Calyrex. No. You. Uh -oh. My bad. My my fault. My fault. We're dead, aren't we? Hold up. Soak this. That's my fault. I should have set up the Tailwind. I should have set up the Tailwind. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. Because now you're boosted. I mean, I could just go into... Shen Pao here, maybe start sucker punching, but we're gonna say bye bye to you. Get this thing on out of here. And yeah, I should have set up the tailwind. I should have set up the tailwind. What am I doing? What am I doing? This could be great for us next turn, but obviously I can just go into you right now and intimidate because if they bring out any physical attack, we should be fine with that. And we're gonna go for a knockoff, maybe just protect their ass in this turn. Look to get after it, but let's see who they end up bringing out here. It's gonna be Rollaboom. I don't mind Rollaboom. I get to intimidate you. I get to intimidate Rollaboom. Little bit of intimidate action. Now we're not gonna fake out the uh 
We're not gonna fake out the what's called. The Robin. We're just gonna go for a straight knockoff here and uh honestly just protect Sassian. A little bit of protection from Zassian. We're hoping that they're faking out the Zassian slot, but if they were smart, they'd be like, hey, my Calyrex outspeeds here. There's no point in faking it out. Right? But hopefully they fake it out, right? No, they play it smart. So they fake out my Incineroar. Tough news for us. Astro Barrage going to fly here. We block it. And how do I even play this one? Because how much damage is this doing? It's already plus one. This is scary damage, right? Actually soak rather well. We soak rather well, so I'm gonna flinch here. I am gonna get back a little bit of HP. Um, do I swap and use my focus ash here? Now we're just gonna start attacking. I, I probably should have went for double protect because we might see a terror pop out here. I probably should have went for double protect. Would have been better because we die regardless. And yeah, here comes a terror type from Shadow Rider Power. It's tough news on our end. We don't like this. We don't like this, so we honestly kind of play this one a little bit. It's going to be Fairy Terror, isn't it? No, it's going to be normal. Can I do anything about that? Not really. This thing is just boosting up. I kind of made a bad read early on in the match. And now Astro Barrage can just fly, and then you can high horsepower me. I mean, Incineroar soaks this really well, which is good. You get a crit on my Zassian, which didn't really matter. But I mean, if Incineroar can survive another turn, this could be pretty good. This could be pretty good for us. Let's see, do you outspeed Robum as well? I doubt it. Robum might be a little bit faster than you. He's going to U-turn pivot, which we soaked that all day. So he U-turns out of here. He was intimidated, which is good. We are going to take off this thing's item, but now this thing's sitting plus two, which is a real problem. A big time problem. And who knows, maybe we can uh get this thing low enough on HP where Sucker Punch can KO. Hmm, I don't know if Sucker Punch can KO. We do get rid of its spell tag, which is good news. I don't think Sucker Punch can KO. Might have to give it a try, though. We might have to give it a try. The thing is, like, this Urshfu is just going to rip into my Incineroar and take it out. And then Astro Barrage is going to do some big-time damage. I gotta go for Flare Blitz, right? I have to go for a Flare Blitz. A Flare Blitz. Then I'll go for Sacred Sword. I'm just going to double down into this slot. I don't really know how else we should play this, but I wonder what they even go into. Astro Barrage, yep. Both my Pokemon will soak this, though. Spell Tag's gone. Chen Pao had Focus Ash regardless, and Sacred Sword is going to outspeed, which actually KOs you. And he's just going to KO my uh, my Incineroar, then be able to Aqua Jet me. GG's to our opponent. Like I said, I made a bad, bad turn in uh, turn number one. I was thinking they were going to try to pop Trick Room after seeing me on the field, like, thinking that I'm going to pop a Tailwind. So I was just ready to dump on Farigraph, but then he ended up just helping handing Astro Barrage and, and just setting himself up for victory. But out comes a Fire Blitz for my Incineroar. That's about negative five. We're actually going to die to recoil, aren't we? No, we survive on two, but I'm going to keep my nice little tiger alive. I'm just going to run this match. And yeah, we're going to take this L on the chin. So I want to get things started. It's time for a little bit of redemption in game two. We played okay in match number one. Like I said, turn one, I made a bad read. Thought they were going to go into Trick Room. So I target down the free graph. Turns out they went helping hand Ash Barrage and just set themselves up for victory. But we're going up against Sneasler, Tinkaton, Fluttermane, Urshfu, Karidon, and Tornado. So they got two fake out users. Um, who should I lead here? I mean, I could go Wimscott here just for Tailwind support. I mean, we can go Tailwind for Tailwind. I do have Cobra Cloak on my Wimscott as well, which is actually really nice for us. And honestly, you might be faster than Tornadus, which means I can probably Encore Tornadus by 1-3. So you know what? I'm going to go Wimscott here. I'm going to go Wimscott here for the lead. Um, I could go Zassian out here for the lead. They don't have any Intimidate, but they do have Fake Out users, which is eh. It's okay. A few physical attackers. So I mean, Incineroar is not bad. I don't mind Incineroar. I could go Suicune. Suicune's not bad here either with Inner Focus. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go Suicune here. Double down with special or uh, two Pokemon that can't be faked out. And then we will bring Zassian in the back end, back end with Shen Pao or Lando. Or I could go Incineroar. But I think Choice Scarf Landers could really come in clutch. So I'm going to end up going Lando. I like Lando here. Choice Scarf is just so big. Especially as a late game Pokemon. Just the sheer force of being out, being able to outspeed somebody. It's just massive. It's so big. Especially if they have, like, Pokemon like Fluttermane here. So I can just, like, Sludge Bomb that thing down. Try to pick up KO. All that good stuff. Well, let's see. Who you got? Who you cooking here? 
It's gonna be Urshfu and Sneeza. So you can't fake me out. I mean, you could try to. I got Cover Cloak and Inner Focus, which is just good news. Um, I think a Calm Mind setup could be nice for us. And I could just Moonblast you if I want to. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna Moonblast that slot and not even set up a... I'm not even gonna set up a what's called yet. I'm not even gonna set up a Tailwind just yet. He's gonna go for Fake Out. And I got Inner Focus. Oh, what do you got? What do, what do you got? Normal gem for fake outs power. That's a little scary and certain strikes gonna fly here So I'm gonna be able to soak this all day and you take rocky helmet damage. I forgot I had rocky helmet on That's massive whenever any urshfu hits you with certain strikes and you have rocky helmet It's just so big and it's gonna be a big turn for us because whimsicott can probably KO right this moon blast Rocky helmet does about half damage, which is awesome. I got cover cloak. You can't fake me out moon blast gonna fly Bye bye, Urshifu. Bye bye. Have fun. And I get a calm mind boost. We love good old calm mind boost. So now I can set up Tailwind if I want to. Um. Hmm. What else could I do here? So there's a nice lovely calm mind boost. I could set up Tailwind if I want to. I could straight up attack. This thing is unburdened now, so its speed is boosted. I gotta remember that. That's probably why it went with normal gem, which is kind of a weird item. But um, Fluttermane's gonna fly out here. This is where we set up a nice lovely Tailwind. Actually, I could just Encore you. Give me no reason not to encore you. And I could just snarl this turn, drop this thing special attack. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Sneasel, you're not dark type, are you? No, yeah, you're fighting poison. So I can encore you. Let me make sure I'm using encore here. Let's encore the Sneasel and the fake out. And do I just snarl here or do I scald? I think I snarl here. I think now's a good turn for us to snarl. So we see a terror type come out here. Um, I don't think Fluttermane should be able to KO any of my Pokemon, so I could set up Tailwind next turn. But I really would rather Encore here with this thing being unburdened and all that good stuff. And Snarl Drops could be good. I'm boosting on Special Defense, which is good for my uh, my lovely little Suicune. But Encore's gonna fly here, and we're just gonna not really worry about Sneasler for a couple turns. Sneasler's forced to do a Fake Out. Cool. I love Encore. Encore's just such a good move. It really is. But Moonblast is going to fire. Who are you going after? That's the real question. You're going to go after my Suicune. Who should soak this? All day. All day, baby. So my special attack does drop, which actually kind of sucks. But I'm going to drop your special attack. And now I'm going to set up the Tailwind. Now I'm going to set up Tailwind, and I'm going to go for a Scald into... Uh... I'm going to go for a Scald into this Flutter main slot. I could go for maybe like a Mist. That'd be pretty cool, but... Really no point of us doing that. Mist is like such a niche kind of, kind of play, right? It's going to only work in like 1% of situations. But I feel like that would be so sick if we like got into a situation like that. It's going to end up swapping to Sneeze or saving him for later so it has fake out in the back end. Um, Unburdened is going to pop still. And he's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is Coridon. And this thing gets a Protosynthesis boost, which is kind of scary. Speed's going to heighten. Um, do you outspeed my Suicune? You honestly probably do. Honestly probably do. Which I don't like one bit. He's going for a Moonblast. So are you taking out my Suicune? No, you're going after Wimscott, which is totally fine. I don't mind you KOing Wimscott. Wimscott did everything. Everything it needed to do. Tailwinds, Encores, all that good stuff. Skull can now fly, which is about negative five. Can I get a burn in the sun? No burn. Um, I could just go into my Choice Scarf Tailwind Pokemon. Take out the Fluttermane. Probably in their best interest. Save our Zacian. I mean, Zacian's going to be nice in the sun, but. You might swap with his sneeze. But that's my problem. I could just go into like Sans here, Storm. Um, man, what would I rather do here? I mean, he's minus one. I say we just go into Zacian and attack. He already used Terra. He already used Terra. We're going to Zacian. I still have Terra, but I think we should just go for a play rough in the Coridon. And just try to snarl again. This Fluttermane might just protect here. Looking at Zacian, you think Behemoth Blade, but actually I'm going play rough into the Coridon slot. Looking to get rid of that. They might, again, they might even swap the Fluttermane here, which they don't. Play rough's just going to fly and we're just going to dump on Coridon, which is pretty big for us. 
So Fluttermane's already minus one, which is great. He can't swap out anymore. We're going to try to put it minus two with the Snarl. He's going to drop a Moonblast, and we outspeed it, which is awesome. And you're just going to take out Suicune. That's fine. We outspeed you. You're going to fake out my Zassy in this turn. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to bring out Landorus. I'm just going to protect my Zassy, and there's really no point of me. I mean, how many turns are left in Tailwind? Do we let him just attack me? I mean, I'm a Steel-type Pokemon. I might just double down this Fluttermane slot. How many turns left in Tailwind? Two. Again, I could just protect. I think we double down this Fluttermane slot. It's minus one. How much damage is it really doing? Nothing crazy. We're just doubling down this Fluttermane slot. Even though I think you're faking out Zassian. But there is an off chance that you do fake out the, uh, the Lando. So I think just double it down is, is a smart, simple play here. So with Fluttermane being minus one with our typing being pretty well, I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So Sludge Bomb gonna fly. No fake out even comes out. No fake out, which is wild. Did you think you were outspeeding me with Unburden and you're trying to go for a close combat? That could be your play. The question is, can Zassian eat up whatever it has to offer? But Zassian's just outspeeding you, even with Unburden. So Behemoth Blade gonna fly. This is probably just gonna KO. Is that gonna be game? It is, yo. Zassian hits like an absolute truck. Just one tap into anything it touches. Final match on its way. We are sitting one and one. We redeemed ourselves from our terrible match number one and we picked up a win in match number two but we're going up against yan mega which is a, one of the coolest bug type pokemon i have ever seen it is just such a dope pokemon design wise i absolutely love it they also have uh what is that thing called sableye and that kind of leads me to think that they that's gonna be like gravity sableye with like hypnosis on mega i've seen that combo a few times on the rank ladder um they also have chiyu iron valiant rage bolt and last but not least groudon um Probably clear I'm at Groudon. Not a lot of physical attackers, so is Incineroar really going to be that good of a Pokemon here? Probably not. Uh, could lead Lando. I could go into a Calm Mind user. I am scared of Hypnosis. That's a little bit of an issue for us. But I think we just go into, like, Zassian here, and we just go into some, like, big-time attackers. Let's just get after it. So I'm going to go Zassian here. Uh, I could go Tailwind. What do I even want to do? I don't even know what I want to do. I could just go him for the fake out. The fake out could just be such a good play for us. Now, you know, we're going to go Shen Pao. We're going to use Asian. We're just going to go heavy attackers. We'll bring Incineroar in late game. We will bring Incineroar in late game. I'm going full blown attackers here. Looking for that 2 1 winning record. Zassian, Shen Pao. Zassian, Shen Pao combo is ridiculous. I wonder how much damage that would do. Imagine that was in like Sword and Shield. If you hit somebody with Behemoth Blade, or if you hit a Dynamax Pokemon with Behemoth Blade with Shen Pao next to him, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Imagine if Shen Pao learned like Helping Hand, that'd be, that'd be even crazier. But um, they're gonna go into this combo, so it leads me to think that they they might just protect the, uh, they might just protect Yon Mega and then go for Gravity Hypnosis. That is looking a little scary. I am gonna go for an Icicle Crash because I believe, I believe uh, Play Rough will KO. But yeah, there's the protect. And he's just gonna go for gravity, so now we can hypnosis whoever he wants, whenever he wants. And he's definitely focused Ash as well, which really annoys me. I'm gonna say bye bye to Sableye. There's the gravity. Yep, hypnosis next turn whenever he wants. Speed boost on Mega, dude. He's so dope. He's so dope. This is gonna be annoying though. You go in the Groudon though? That's the real question. Groudon's. Mmm. It's not looking good if you go into ground on here. Um, our best bet would be just like, hmm. Is it ground on? We got we got C first. I hope not. Cool, it's you. I still don't like that, but I can deal with that. I can deal with that. We're just gonna have to protect you this turn, and I'm just gonna have to go for an ice crash. I could honestly just try to dump on you, but then you just hypnosis spam the rest of the game. I have to do some damage onto Yon Mega right now. I have to. Luckily, he is Terrasalized, and that leads me to think it's Chiyu, right? Chiyu and the Ghost. Yep. A little bit of Ghost action. No, straight fire. This thing's looking for damage and damage only. So, I could bring out a fit my fake out easier, which could be good. Sinor soon enough. But for now, I'm just protecting Zassian. Hopefully, your Hypnosis is Zassian, right? I would. Hey, I would dude. This thing's, this thing's annoying me. I don't really know what's going to do, but i actually rather that happen than... A hypnosis system. 
But Heat Wave's gonna fly here. I wish Shenpao would have dodged it. That's pretty big. That would have been pretty big, I should say. And I'm gonna I'm gonna focus Sash up. There's focus Sash. I still crash is gonna land here. He's gonna no Sash on you. Wow. That works out even better for us. That works out even better for us. No focus ash on you. He brings out Groudon. Oh, man. This is where things get a little tough. Cause I, ha I mean, I have Lando. I could swap into Lando, but then this dude, this, the Heat Wave is going to do an insane amount of damage. We do have Vest on this guy, which is pretty good. Um, Vest could help us out, but... Oh, man. I think we just kind of let these guys go because I want to save my terror type for you. I don't want to swap into Incineroar and just lose it, right? I mean, I'm going to go for at least a close combat into you. I'm just going to sucker punch into you. And just try to do as much damage as I can. But can I survive this heat wave? No shot. No shot. I'm dead to see you know that. Yeah. And Groudon was probably going for blades anyway, but I'd rather sacrifice these two and try to get after it with, uh, with my back end Pokemon because I do have Choice Scarf, but they are in Tailwind, which is a little bit of an issue. So there's Groudon. Uh, do we fake out Groudon? That's the real question. That is the real question. That is the real question. Do I fake out Groudon or do I fake out Chiyu? I think I have to fake out Groudon. I think I have to fake out Groudon. And we're gonna find out if it's clear ammo, which it probably is. It's not. Are you? What item are you? There's no way it's Curve Cloak, is it? It's minus one though now, which is good news for us. I think we still have to fake it out. I'm gonna fake out the Chiyu. He's minus one. He is minus one. And I'm gonna go for a Sandseer Storm. That's my play. I'm choosing a Sandseer Storm. We fake out the Chiyu. Groudon, what are you going for? Blades? You are going for Blades. And of course you land it. That's still gonna KO my Incineroar, isn't it? That's still gonna KO my Incineroar. And of course, I totally forgot that What's It Called does that. I totally forgot that gravity does me dirty. Gravity makes blades not hit my, my, or makes it hit my Lando. Does anything end? We need some speed here. They still have one turn left hand when I can't protect. We need him. He can't miss blades. And why didn't I Thrasalize my Incineroar last turn? That was kind of dumb of us, but we're going to Thrasalize it this turn. I probably could have won this game if I just Thrasalized the Incineroar, but I kind of forgot to. Not gonna lie, that was dumb play on my end. Real dumb play on my end. We might just lost one because of that. And that's exactly why I let my Zassian and Shen Pao die, because I wanted to terrasize my Incineroar, and I just totally forgot to. So can I still go with Blades here? He is minus one, which is good news. He is minus one. And I do soak it up, so Terra's still working out fine here. Blair Blitz should be able to finish this off for the win. But win this one regardless of my blunder play. Where puts in the sun. Thanks for playing. GG's. Let's go. 2-1 winning record. We've been getting a ton of winning records in the past couple of videos. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-1 winning record with this Sassian and Suicune team. I absolutely love it. Like I said, we made pretty much a bad play in match number one. And that was our only loss. Match number two and match number three. We bounced back. Grabbed ourselves back-to-back -back wins and more importantly the winning record but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity day i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody